Hey everyone, Destroyer here. Been a busy day for me today, but I've managed to find some spare time here in the afternoon to go ahead and make good on the video that I promised as far as rigging your knife up to your belt using paracord. And I'm wearing it right now, so let me take it off. So right now, the knife I am currently carrying is the Cold Steel Tokyo Spike in a Kydex sheath. Normally it comes with these two slots here for a belt. However, that requires you to carry it like this instead of like this. For me, I don't I don't know about you, but for me, I prefer to wear it like this since this whole length is actually running right across your belt. So it makes it right in the premium spot to go ahead and reach down really quick and grab it. Now, this is a pretty nice knife. I'm actually going to do a review on this knife in particular later, but I did promise first to do the paracord rig. As you can see, here's the paracord. The way it originally came was it had a chain that you could actually weave through these holes here and wear around your neck, I believe was their original intention. However, I kind of found it pointless to wear it around the neck, especially since it was a pretty long chain, actually. So you'd kind of have to either remove some links and do some soldering or something. And it was just more work than I wanted. So I remembered that I had bought some paracord at Sportsman's Warehouse a few days beforehand. So I went ahead and I picked this up. And sorry my hands are so dirty. I've been cleaning guns and somehow managed to slice up my index finger during the shoot, which I'll post later. But getting back to the knife, so what I did was I took length of paracord and I made two knots. I chose to have the knots actually facing out away from the belt just so that they don't rub up against it. Now, I will warn you, the belt, you'll want to try it on different pants because not all the belt loops are in the same place. So, for instance, when I designed this, I actually designed it on some khaki Wrangler pants that I had. And the problem with that is the normal blue jeans I wear when out shooting have a belt loop that's further towards the zipper line. So what that means is I actually had to shift my belt buckle over so it's not over the button and zipper which may irritate some. For me it wasn't a big deal because it was functional and it didn't get in the way. So what you have here is these three loops obviously support it and so what you'll do is you'll slide the belt underneath and let me actually grab my beat up belt here and I'll kind of show you. So you'll just kind of run it right under these loops and you'll pull it and I'm going to try and do this without bumping the camera. This is a beat up belt so it kind of is being a pain here. But you'll pull it through the paracord until it's all the way at the buckle. And some of you are probably wondering early on in the video why I have this loop. And this is the key part here. So this loop actually, for those, for some pairs of pants, this loop here is going to go right up against your belt loop on your left side closest to your button and zipper. Some pants it won't be as bad. But the problem is going to be if you don't have a retaining, a retaining strap here, you're going to have this pulling up against your belt loop. And it's not going to take too long before you'll notice that your belt loop is starting to be dislodged from the jeans. And you probably don't want to have to repair that. At least I didn't. So, once you have this here, this is essentially how it functions. Before you clasp the belt, you'll loop this over the little prong. And then, let me get the other end here. Then what you'll do is, to make sure this is nice and snug, you'll loop this through, and we'll just use this belt hole, for instance, and you'll push it through, just like normal, and then what you're going to do is you're going to take your belt flap here, 
push it through this loop, I don't know if you can see that well, push it through the loop underneath the retaining flap for the belt and underneath the little slots here. So what it's going to do, let's say hypothetically that your loop is here for your belt. As you pull, this retaining strap is going to be locked in pretty tight. And so it's going to pull all the pressure off of, put all the pressure off of the actual belt loop. And it's going to put it on this metal flap. So just to kind of review and make a short video actually short instead of prolonging it, you'll want to make sure that the knife you get has some sort of a sheath, otherwise you'll want to get a sheath for it. Um, I know some of the cold steel knives that are cheaper do not have as nice of a sheath, which really isn't an issue so long as you find a reliable way to cut holes in it without messing up the holster. If you could get some brackets or something, like some little pieces of tube, so that once you cut a hole in it, you can put it in there and kind of super glue it in place to provide some stability, that would be ideal. Otherwise, on knives like these where the holes are already pre-drilled into the sheath, that would be your best bet. And so let me just give you a quick demonstration of how this actually works. Alright, so this is essentially what you get when you've got it rigged. You have it right here. As you can see, the buckle is actually off center. And when you tuck it over, be careful, people, because if the handles, I'm no law expert, but you know, this could be considered a concealed weapon if you don't have enough of the knife showing. Normal resting place for your hands at your sides is right here. So, there you go. And then, be careful when you resheath it. It doesn't matter if you push here, but you do want to be careful not to stab yourself trying to put this back on. But as you can see, let's say I need to, even if I have the jacket, you know, zipped up, it's not a big deal. So we got that all zipped up, and there we go. Quick draw. Again, be careful. <laughs> Good thing I didn't stab myself on camera. Safety first, people. And yeah, a review of this knife will be coming soon. Just not sure how soon. I've got a lot of projects going on. So, in the meantime, 